Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is the second segment of my whole like putting a full face of makeup on but I'm breaking down a couple like or few like little segments of it. This video is going to be for the contour that I do and how I do my contour because I cannot do the wet contour like a lot of other girls do. I dry contour. So obviously I already have half of my makeup on. I already have my foundation, my powder. Um, eyeshadow eyeliner was my last video, my mascara, and I already curled my lashes, which I usually don't curl my lashes this early on in my makeup routine. I usually wait more for the end, but I kind of did it more for aesthetic purposes. Um, so starting with my video, I use the Physician's Formula, the Butter Bronzer, and this one is in the shade, it just says bronzer. I don't know. I know they have different shades, because I've bought in two different shades from them, actually. And the brushes that I use, I used to use this brush here, it's from Real Techniques, and I don't know what kind of brush it is because the letters have all rubbed off, but lately I have been using this one here instead, and again it's a Real Techniques, but this one says it is a buffing brush. For whatever reason I kind of feel like I like the way this one kind of like pushes the product more like onto my skin. And so I use, like I said, I use the Butter Bronzer, but then I also go back for a little bit deeper of a contour with a brown eyeshadow. And this one is just a L'Oreal eyeshadow that, again, I've had this forever. It is the Wear Infinite Studio Secrets Professional Eyeshadow, and this is in the color 830 Deep Mocha. So I start off with my bronzer, the Physician's Formula, and I dip it in here. While you have most of the product on the brush, I concentrate more towards like the back of the area that I'm going to do rather than like brushing the whole thing. I'll explain. So I also don't, a lot of people kind of put their bronzer like here. I like to put mine kind of more up. Like here's your, okay, like here's your cheekbone, right? So I like to put it more like on this part of the cheekbone rather than in like the dip part, like your cheekbone and then like it dips. A lot of people put their contour over here where it dips. I put mine more here, like on the bottom of the cheekbone, if that makes sense. Like I said, when you have majority of the product on your brush, I concentrate it more towards the back. And as you have less product on the brush, then I start to bring it forward a little bit. That way it gives it a little bit more of like a gradient effect. And you don't have just like dark brown all the way through. So... Uh, there and then I also like to bring it up into the temple. I don't exactly do that number three thing that they show you I kind of just do here and then into the temple a little bit. I like to leave this little space right here free of um, Bronzer or contour So here again bring it down and a little bit here and I always kind of like go back and forth a little bit more a little bit more But this here is the base basics of it get the other side Again, majority of the product, focus it more towards the back, and then as you waste it, you bring it forward. Right up here in the temple. And then you also gotta get your weird shaped forehead. Is that nice and bronzed? Again, you don't know why, but your look just doesn't look complete without it, right? So we kinda just, we're like trained that this is what we have to do. Underneath my chin as well. Try to get rid of some of my double chin that I got going on. Oh, darn it, I forgot I wanted to. I had an idea of how I was going to do this. I forgot I was going to do this cheek alone, and then I was going to show you compared to this side that didn't have any, and then I was going to go in with a deeper to show you compared to this side that didn't have any. Ugh, I already messed up my, my video technique. Oh well. Anyway, so this is your basic bronzer, and you can go ahead and stop here. If you do, I always like to come with your powder brush, and I always like to just kind of clean up a little, or this is the brush that I use after I'm done concealing. This is the brush that I like set my concealer with. And I also like to kind of just come in and like clean up this little line right here. I use either brush. Whichever one's like closest to me, I grab. So you can either stop right here or like I said, you can go one step farther. And I get is the Sonia Kastrick brush. It is the number 121. It's just a very dense like dome brush. And I like it because it gets like really like into the spot where I want it. Now with the brown eyeshadow, you don't want to go super heavy, you don't want a deep stroke, you don't want to push a lot, it is literally just the tiniest, and that's it. Like, that is it. <laughs> that's all that you want to use. So again, focus most of the product back here, and then bring it forward. Do you see the difference? How this one's like a much like calmer, chill contour, and this one already has like a little bit deeper to it? I see a change, but it's not like a huge drastic change to it. You know what I mean? So that's what I like to do. Kind of just 
intensify my contour a little bit more. Give the illusion that I have cheekbones. Ladies, we have to fool these people out here. They can think we have cheekbones when we don't. So again, you focus majority of the product towards the back. Did I get my temples on this side? I don't remember. Focus majority of the product to the back and then as you waste it, bring it forward. Again, under my chin. There you go, chin, chin, chin. I don't do the nose contour. I feel like whenever I have tried it, I feel like for me, it just makes me look like my nose is dirty. Other people do and it looks awesome on them, but then I try to do it and I'm like, well, this just doesn't look right. So I don't do that. After I go with the brown eyeshadow, I then come back with my, the lighter shade of contour brush and kind of just like blend it together. Just so it has more of like a blended gradient kind of fade all together. Also, one thing that I do, sometimes, not all the time really, with the same bronzer, my butter bronzer, I will get a small brush. When I'm done with my lipstick and I put it on, I put it a little bit right under here and it gives you more of like a pouty look to your lips because it gives like the shadow effect since it's just a tiny little bit and you don't want a lot either because again, you don't want it to look like it's dirty underneath there. It's more of you're trying to give yourself a tiny little a fake shadow from your lip just right under there and it gives you like I said a little bit more of a pallety look that like oh my gosh my lip is so big that it creates a shadow underneath here basically is all that it's doing I forgot to add one thing when I do my blush like I say you know how like here's your cheekbone and there's like the hollow of it I put my blush or my contour here on this part of my cheekbone when I do my blush I kind of put it more like here on this part of my cheekbone like the kind of like more outer Part, and then the top part of my cheekbone is where I do my highlighter. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my blush on real quick. Give me a second, let me find it. The blush that I'm using today is the uh, Milani. Is it called a like, Luminoso or something like that? So like I said, I have the contour on like the under part of my cheekbone. When it comes to my blush, I put it on like the outermost like part of my cheekbone that sticks out, I guess to say. And I put a little bit on the apples of my cheeks as well. Can you go ahead and do that. Yeah, I like this blush because it has sort of like a peachy, it's not a very pink, it's more of a peachy that goes with like my orange that I have going on right now. So, there's that. And then when I go ahead, like I said, I do my highlighter, I do my highlighter more here like on the upper like rounded part of my cheekbone. So right up here is where I would put my highlighter, which I'm not going to put highlighter on right now because, eh, I don't know. But you know what? I'm lying. I'm going to go ahead and do it because why not? I want gold! Oh, I want gold to go along with like the yellow-ish that I have. For my... Uh, highlight, I like to use the CoverGirl and it's like a true naked, right? True naked, yeah, true naked, like little eyeshadow palette. And they don't have the gold one anymore. They don't have this palette anymore. So disappointed because I love the shade of gold right here. There was like an awesome uh, lighter shade of gold that was right here. And this one that it broke, can't find it anymore because they don't freaking sell this palette. But I get this brush and like I said, I put my highlight right on top, the upper part of my cheekbone. And I kind of blend it down a little bit into the blush as well. So this video turned into, instead of just contouring, it turned into contour and highlight. So as you saw, I put a little bit on the tip, down the bridge of my nose. I put a little bit right here above the arch of my eyebrows. Again, above the arch of my eyebrow. I also like it right here in the center too. On the little pickles of my lip, and sometimes I put it right here too. And I want a little bit on the apples here too, just to give me some shimmer, shimmer. I want some shimmer, shimmer right there. All right, so there's that. This is how it looks very kind of wet and dewy at the moment. So I like to take my foundation brush and kind of just like push the product in a little, and I feel like it kind of just blends all a little bit better. When I do that, you can also take your beauty blender. All right, so that is it. That is how I contour my face and also as well as doing my blush and highlighter. Thank you guys so, so much for watching today and leave a comment down below if this video helped y'all at all. Um, give a thumbs up if it helped you. Also, if y'all try this method, if you liked it, if it worked for you, leave a comment, let me know how it worked for you guys. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Hit the little notification bell down bar down below somewhere, down bar, hit the notification bell down below. That way you guys get notified anytime I upload a video. 
Also, if, I, if you haven't already, follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and Facebook. And as most of y'all already know, my last Snapchat got deleted, so I have a new Snapchat that I'm going to have a link down below. Go ahead and follow me over there. Um, I'm trying to think. I've done this outro like three times, so I feel like, did I already say that? Did I not say that yet? But I think I'm good now. <laughs> I think this one's a good one. Uh, thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.